anywhere. Besides, we got a six pack and a backbone. Stay sober. Not everybody drinks in high school. Everybody in Mountain Drama, we don't drink. We have fun. Why can't everybody else? It's stupid to think that anyone would want to do that and hurt friends or family. Or maybe that one person that you said that one nice thing to and they looked up to you. Charlie? James. What do you call that? You call what, sweetie? He ain't touching you like that. He was just wishing me a happy birthday. It was nothing. Whatever. Whoa. You see what you made me do? You stressed me out and I can't take it. Elizabeth? Are you okay? Yeah, there's just water there. I just slipped. No, Elizabeth, look at me. That is not okay. Well, standing here while everyone leaves isn't okay either. Well, neither is him hitting you. I'd like two double junior hamburgers, extra mayonnaise, no mustard, no ketchup, extra tomato, side fries, no salt, milkshake, uh, make us strawberry. No, actually, chocolate. No, chocolate and vanilla swirl with an extra cherry on top. Thank you. Hi, welcome to our happy birthday. Have a super sparkly day. Can I take your order? Wow. How? Wow. How? Wow. How? Wow. How? 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 Oh, we don't serve that here. <laughs> so I can take my milkshake and the fries and dip it. Oh. <laughs> it's sweet and <laughs> salty at the same time. Okay, that's what I want. The uh, hamburger is the thing.
blood, calm down. This side of the car is going to order. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I have the hey, 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 Neil. <laughs> you did not just order me the hey, 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 Neil. No, actually, no, that was not me. That was that man. Right that was there. totally you, Cole, and I can barely even fit in the car. Because I am so fat. I get it. I get it. I bet Mom's super skinny. Well, steps to make sure we make it. Plenty of opportunities have been presented to us of where lives have abruptly ended due to substance abuse. Whether it be someone famous or not, we all uh, face the same demons that us ordinary folks do. Russell County has the highest death rate in the state from prescription drug use. But we often minimize the effects of alcohol when it's still the number one leading cause of death in teens. It's easier to think that drug abuse only happens to other people, like to them over there. <coughs> but in reality, it happens far more often than we want to believe. It's a false sense of security. But chances are that someone you know could be addicted to drugs or alcohol right now. But you may not realize it yet. Or do you realize it? But you put away their weed, wipe away the smoke, throw away their beer cans, because you're embarrassed of them. Or you don't hide it but you shame them instead. Or you don't shame them, but you slowly phase them out of your life because you don't want to be around them anymore or because you just can't do it anymore. Or you talk about them behind their back and discuss how sad it is. Or they do try to get better. And sometimes they get better for a while. Or they relapse and may even sadly die. The problem with drug addiction is it's not about the drugs. It's about finally trying what everybody's talking about trying to kill your own pain, or trying to escape reality for just a second. We don't have all the facts. We're just here to make you be aware and to look out for each other. Stand up for each other. Stand up for yourself.
August or September each year, and we work all the way up until our shows. Okay, his question was, what happened to the guy in the car? Um, what happened there was I was drinking with my friends, and we went out, and we were driving, and I ended up crashing the car, and it hit Tracy's family, and killed all of her family. Okay, he said how come I was being so mean to Savannah before the accident, and I think that the whole scene really was about the fact that I was being mean to her. It's just showing you how little time you have. Like, you never know when something bad is going to happen. And basically what I was trying to get across with that is that you need to always be nice to your siblings. Even if they get on your nerves, don't tell them you hate them, don't yell at them all the time, because you don't know how long you have with them. So, and, and pretty much the whole point of this show is that we're trying to tell you guys that not everyone is drinking, and not everybody is doing all these drugs, and that's just what we want to get, get across to you guys. You all try to, try, to, try to make you guys aware of what may be coming up if you do get asked. And we're just telling you, it's probably very wise not, not to drink and not to drink your blood. We wanted to point out that sometimes people get bullied for things they can't help. And we wanted to show what the effects of what her mom did and how that happened to her and why she was the way she was. <clears throat> but it's not her fault. And that's why Ben ended up apologizing because he felt bad and he realized that Katie was just herself and she was trying to be nice. And that's the effects of pregnancy and you using substances. Then, because you have such strong peers, do you feel betrayed by your other peers? Well, if we are pressured by one of our friends who aren't involved in the group and who do do drugs or drink, we know that we can turn to one of these people and they'll support us not to do that or make that decision. Because cause the important thing is, is it's not their choice, it's your choice. Just because your friends are drinking and they're getting into a car, doesn't mean you have to get in the car and be just as bad as they are. It's going to happen when you're the one out of the car and you're the one not arrested. Who's the smart one that everybody's saying? Oh, he was smart. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not in the front of the newspaper? Oh, did you hear about this small town boy? <laughs> and got the car. And I'd like to add a side note. Everyone in this group has an extreme passion, I believe, for helping others, for making their community and inevitably their world a better place. I'd like to hear from maybe one or two of you how your life has changed because of being in the group. For me, my life has changed because of this group in so many ways. There have been times that I've just been in the absolute worst mood possible and I know I could show up to drama and just vent and get it off my chest and that it would never go anywhere past the auditorium or the vocational school depending on where we were at that year and I don't know about these guys but I know that my older brother was in drama and when he was in it I would always just sit there in awe thinking of how wonderful it would be to be part of something that is bigger than myself and that makes such a big difference in the community because we're out there to show that not all teenagers are going out and getting drunk or smoking pot or whatever we actually sign contracts at the beginning of every year saying we'll okay. maintain a passing average at school and that we're not going to go. We're up here to set good examples, but we're just normal kids. We have problems too. And that's another awesome thing about this group is we can tell each other stuff. Like we can get stuff off our minds. Like if we want to talk about something, want to talk about something, this is a group to go to because what happens in Mountain Drama stays in Mountain Drama is what we said. And it's just a lot of us, we do have problems with our families, our friends, ourselves. Because you're a normal girl. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this group helps us. And it's just awesome. I think that's it. I think we covered it. <laughs> what do you think it offers then? Um, I think it offers a lot. Everybody's smoking or everybody's Hello? drinking, and then you're like, no, no, that's not true. no. Shows that they education, like okay. just because uh -huh. like, you know like, you do think when you get to high. There, are, I mean, everyone's been in a situation where you feel like at some point where no one cares, no mm -hmm. one really even thinks about you. Like, I mean, everyone feels there sometimes. 
Exactly. And I feel like this group kind of shows, like, you know, there are people who care. We want you to do better. We want you to get help. Like, exactly. You know? Or if you're not in that situation. She or you're not alone. Community. Because we're all in it together. All of us. That's why I kept coming back. That's why I've done the reunion shows. It's fun and it, it's, it's great at the same time. But I did it because there's somebody sitting out here that just needs to hear what you have to say. And you know who has that ability to make that difference? It's you, Charlie. You. I don't know your name. It's you. It's you. And it's you. It's you, Sam. Hey. Can I have a rod? Yes, you can. Thank you. This is a fancy automobile you have her. Thank you. And look at them little flashy switches things. <laughs> What's this one do? If I push this button, music comes out of the car. What the game of thought? <laughs> you want a ride? Oh, sure. I thought I did that. I did tell you. I thought Come on in. Oh, for game of thought. Oh, for game of thought. Hey, sexy lady. Hey, you need a ride? No. Uh, 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 maybe I'll get, I'll get out and then uh, you can take uh, honestly my car. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 so, uh, 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 ask y'all a question right there, right now. Uh, can y'all show me where the nearest box shut the door is? <laughs> I need to show them box shutters. Can you show me? Just say.